Hello, welcome to the weekly shear of the Zara Shimshon. It's uh, Dalid Nisan, um, Erev Shabbos uh, Parshas Tazria. And uh, we are going to say a little piece here about the Mitzayra. Okay, <clears throat> why this is Parshas Tazria. So why is the Mitzayra considered dead? Because one of the things that you can... <clears throat> <coughs> the Gemara says that one, there's um, <coughs> three people are considered like dead. A Mitzar is one of them, and a poor person, and <coughs> and somebody that's um, not having having a good day. Okay. Anyway, it says like this: Adam kiyeh be'or b'tzarei aseisa sapachas ha'bayeres v'ayo be'or b'tzarei. If a person will have <clears throat> on the skin of his flesh a seis, these are different terminologies for the, the tzaras, seis, sapachas, abaharis, and it will become a tzaras affliction on the skin of his flesh, he shall be brought to Aaron a koyen or to one of his sons, the koyen. It's only the koyen that can determine this. The Midrash in Vayikarava 15.2 implies that a person is stricken with saras and other similar afflictions when he has more blood than water in his body. One, normally, says the Midrash, the blood versus water ratio is half and half. But certain sins that people can do cause the water ratio to increase. And then he becomes what's called an adrip, adrip, adripicus. He says, somebody afflicted with a certain type of illness. Okay, whatever that is. On the other hand, sometimes the ratio of blood to water increases and then he becomes a mitzara. According to this explanation, we need to understand why the Torah says, if a person will have on the skin of his flesh. That's okay. <clears throat> the blood is contained within the body. And in that case, this is where the tzaras is mainly contained as well. Why then does the Torah imply that this affliction exists only on the skin? The Gemara says that a Mitzvah is considered like a dead person. It's a Gemara in the Dorim, 64. The simple reason is this is due to what Aaron said about his sister Miriam, who was stricken with Saras. Let her not be like the dead. The Pasuk of Midbar 12.12. 12. Another reason one may think that a Mitzvah is like a dead person is because the impurity both affects the entire tent in which they are found. However, <clears throat> when we, in other words, if a Mitzvah is in a tent and somebody else comes in the tent, that person becomes uh, like um, contaminated with Tuma as well. However, we can suggest yet another possible approach by quoting the words of the Rana. In Hilchus Shabbos, in Gemara Shabbos, and cited in the Taz and Arachaim, three sixteen in Hilchus Shabbos, the Ran says that someone who strikes a creature with skin, like a reptile, on Shabbos and causes its blood to congeal near the surface of the skin, is accountable for his actions. And why? Since you know, there's an Easter of Chabala. Uh, on Shabbos, right? You can't hit somebody and cause them a bruise. <clears throat> Since the creature has skin, the skin holds the blood back from the emerge emerging. If, however, there were no skin, the blood would have leaked out of the creature's body. The one who hit it is therefore considered to having killed its soul in that particular spot, as it is written, for blood is the soul. Okay, that's a plus again, Dvorah. We can apply the same reasoning to the Mitzvah. Why does the affliction appear? It is due to a very large proportion of blood in a person's body, which is being held back from emerging only due to the person's skin. Since otherwise the body would get rid of the unnecessary blood, since the skin is keeping the blood from emerging, it pulls together near the surface of the skin and begins to create boils. <clears throat> boils that eventually develop into tsaras, which means that in reality the blood already left the person's system and was only held back from emerging completely due to 
the skin, which keeps it in place. This explains why Chazal considered Mitzorah to be a dead person. The blood that entered this, his skin is considered like it died since it already left his body, but was only stopped from emerging completely due to a technical issue, that is because the skin held it back. As the Ron points out, when blood pools near the surface, it is as if the soul had been taken. With this explanation, we can also understand the reason why the Torah says if a person will have this on the skin of his flesh, it is because the main cause of tzaras is an overabundance of blood, which tries to emerge through the skin, thereby causing the lesions of tzaras on the surface of the skin. This is from the Zerah Shimshon and our Parsha and Ois Vav. And everyone should have a wonderful Shabbos. And, you know, one of the causes that, um, the seven reasons why we get Saras, and one of them, the Gemara in Erechin says, is speaking Lashon Hora. So um, we don't have this condition, Bismanazeh, but we could get other afflictions that are caused by blood. And, uh, you know, everybody should be very careful and learn the Hilchas Shmer Salashen and Hilchas Chavetz Chaim on a daily basis, if not at least weekly, if not a daily basis, and and get it in, inculcate, inculcated that what all the the complications of this Israel. Anyway, everybody have a wonderful Shabbos and be b'simcha.